So tomorrow marks my 15th anniversary on YouTube. May 19th, 2007, I uploaded Adventures of Tom Sawyer review walkthrough on NES. It was my first video, even though it got taken down due to copyright, falsely copyrighted, and I had to re-upload. But that's neither here nor there. Bottom line is, 15 years ago, tomorrow, will be my 15th year on YouTube. Well, 16th year, 15 years ago. So I figured this is a good time to look back at the first year, 2007, that I was on YouTube, and reevaluate the grades that I gave my reviews. I, I, I'll never re-review a game fully and do like a full revisit or anything like that, but I have thought and contemplated about a re-evaluation. So here it is, I'm going to do a quick look through each of my videos, or each of my reviews, any video that where I gave a grade to a game, and decide on whether I want to keep the grade that I gave it or change it. So the first video, like I said, was Adventures of Tom Sawyer, which I originally gave a C. And I'd say that's a pretty fair grade, I'd leave it in the middle. It wasn't great, it wasn't horrible, it was flawed, but I think it had some charm to it, C. Chippendale Rescue Rangers was second, and I gave that one a B plus. And I, I'm tempted, I'm tempted to bump this one into A minus territory, but I think I'm going to leave it as a B plus as well. Super Pitfall was next, and that one was an F, my first fail. And even though I like the game a little bit more than what it's worth, just because of the nostalgia factor, I think, it's definitely an F. It, it, it deserves to stay there. I'm leaving this one where it is. Next up was Monster Party, which I gave a C plus. And, you know, ah, uh, they're... It's similar to... Tom Sawyer and the fact that it's it's flawed but still has a fun element to it. I I think I got to bump it up. I'm going to give it a B minus. It's it's partly personal preference as opposed to looking at it 100% objectively, but I feel like if I have to take it to some account of my subjectivity, otherwise it's just another review. I think that the game is a fun mess. Not even a mess. It just uh, it's like a you know, it's a B movie kind of a game which is perfectly fitting. It's f silly, fun, horror. I enjoy it. B-. minus. Russian Attack was also a C+. Plus, and I think that it's going to stay at C+. Plus. I kind of want to move it up to B- minus as well. And it's kind of weird even looking back at this and saying I like Monster Party more than Russian Attack. I don't know if I... You know, it's like... Uh, I think that Russian Attack could have been better. I'm going to leave it at a C+. Plus. Battle Chess, B-. minus. This one's weird. It's like it's a chess game, but it has these battle sequences, um, which is cool. But the game moves so slow. I think I'm gonna drag it down a little bit to a C plus because it does what it needs to do. But it's like it could have been more. I kind of look at it in the same vein as uh, Russian Attack, as far as you know the scale thing. And this is the thing. I you know early on, I didn't really know what I was. I had for a uh, a, a scale. I didn't have any prior grades. I just started... Uh, nothing to base it off of. I just kind of guessed, I guess. And that's kind of where it leads me to Mappy Land, the next one, which was an F originally. And as flawed as the game is, I don't think it deserves a grade that low. In fact, somebody commented on it in my uh, Mappy Land... I don't know if it was my throwback reap, but, you know, throwback... Thursday Let's Play or my soundtrack ranking of this game, but somebody had asked if I still think of this as an F, and I don't think I do. I think I, I think it's more of a D. It's more playable than an F game would be. You know, an F has to be a complete disaster, and I don't think Mappy Land was a disaster. I think it just had its problems. D, almost D plus region. I think F was way too harsh. DuckTales, I gave a B plus, and this was the first, this was the game that made me think of doing this and made me want to do it. It's, it, it, you know, it's like, the only problem with this game is that it's too short. It's, that's it. And even that is a little bit nitpicky-ish. There are plenty of games with only five levels, but it has the length, the level length is comparable to Mega Man or so, which has more than that, and, you know, it also is Capcom, and I think there could have been more to it, and that's about the only thing that's wrong with it. I think that this, I, I bumped this up to an A-. minus. Color of Dinosaur was an F, and that this is where what Fs are made of is, is definitely an F. Complete disaster. Puss in Boots was next. That was a D-. It's pretty fair to be a D-. 
if anything, I would... I wouldn't go F with it. Uh, maybe I'd go up to a D proper, but I think because I'm so on the fence with it, I'm just gonna leave it as a D minus. Next up was Mega Man, and this one I actually... Because I'm such a Mega Man fanboy, I guess you could say. And I don't know if I'd say fanboy, just that it's my favorite game series of the NES. I almost felt like it would, I would not be objective enough in grading it. But I said, fuck it. I, yeah, I gotta cover Mega Man. And I tried to be objective as possible. I feel like I did, but at the same time, I left out some flaws that Mega Man 1 definitely has. And, you know, it's not a perfect game. It's not... Uh, you know, it's definitely not better than, say, DuckTales, like I said, was a, uh, well, it was a B-plus, or Rescue Rangers, even, also a B-plus. I think Mega Man is a solid B, and I, you know, it's, it, of course, it improved later on, but for 1987, this was a really good game, and I think that's what I was thinking of, for the most part, was, you know, you grade it against what's around at the time, but it did need some work. It's almost B-plus, um, but, you know, cheaply difficult. A little rough around the edges. I, I, I'll, I'll say B. Rampage I gave a C- to. Simply because it was fairly repetitive, redundant, and took way too fucking long to beat. I think it's more of a C. I don't think it's... It, C- is teetering on the brink of D level, and I don't think Rampage is that bad. It's still fun. It, it, you know, you can pop... You don't have, it's not like you have to play through the whole game for any reason you know, particular reason. That's just, like, a monster marathon mission. Uh, you know, you pop it in and play 15, 20 levels and whatever, but I think they could have done with more variety in the scenery. Make them, make the levels stand out, be different from each other. Give you more incentive to play through it. But I want to move, bump it up to a C. Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2, I gave a B. And I think, a you know, it's I, I left Rescue Rangers 1 as a B plus, and Rescue Rangers 2 is just like a diet Rescue Rangers 1. B is, I'd say, a fitting grade for it. It should stay a B. You know, it's just a not quite as good version of the first. And then finally, Marble Madness was the final review that I released in 2007. I gave that one a B, and I think I would leave that as a B as well. It's a good translation from the arcade. Maybe they could have thrown in a bonus level or something. This would be a really cool game to be able to customize, to have like a Marble Madness Maker. It's short but sweet, and I'm gonna leave it as a B. So that's it for this uh, re-evaluation of 2007. I enjoyed looking back at these games. I'll see you next time.